guys so it is sunday the 16th of may 2021 and i am going for my first primark trip of the year and this is so special firstly because i've not been to primark in forever i think it was last october i stepped foot in a primark which is crazy and also secondly because so this is it we're going to find out the gentleman baby i'm so excited Bye. <laughs> Yesterday we find we found out we're having a baby boy. So today is gonna to be the first day of buying two boy themed clothes and I am so excited so I thought I would do a come chef with me and we can look around and see what nice stuff Primark's got in at the moment and also I'll do a little haul when I get back if I get anything I'll obviously get something when do I ever stop shopping I don't know it's even worse when you're pregnant because you're like first of all constantly shopping for clothes that are going to fit the bump which is ever growing ever changing and also it's like you've got another human to buy for so of course you've got to do it like people are like stop buying things like you'll get gifted loads of things from friends and family which is amazing and really generous but I think you're always going to buy for your baby aren't you you know so also good hair day thank you to stranded hair group and it's the one piece flicky 16 inch one piece and did i say one piece twice it's a one piece in case i didn't say which means it just clips all around the back of your head one sheet and it just gives you bouncy hair in a minute do you know what i mean like good hair day every day thanks to stranded hair group this is in the color iris and it's like a perfect match so i'm super happy so anyway, let's get going to Primark. So, we made it to Lancaster, <laughs> eventually. We didn't quite make it on time at first because I was late, but it's fine, we let it go. We we'll let it go. <laughs> Live and learn. <laughs> we were always gonna make it. I know. So it's 10 to one and we're going straight to Primark and see what bargains we can find. It's actually so sunny. It was proper grey and miserable, wasn't it, this morning? Yeah. Now it's like beaming. Got my sunglasses and a scarf in my bag, and that just like yeah. sums up English weather, doesn't it? it does. Absolutely. See, this is Haley's forte <laughs> gym <laughs> stuff. Not I bet really. they're comfy. Oh, I like that. I don't know why. The little ribbed thing. <laughs> it is totally summer, isn't it? Oh, they're cute, like gym stuff, aren't they? Yeah. I wouldn't like. As a gym goer, would you wear that to the gym? No. Is it just a bit like, look at me? Too much attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's bad. I just feel like no. worried. No. Oh, joggers. joggers <laughs> yeah, I can I can deal with joggers. Loungewear. What? How do you do it in Primark? Do you like go around all the front and then all around the sides, or what? Who knows? These are nice. That is nice. It is. We always call do it for yourself. That's nice. Five pound jumpers. Oh. That's like literally five pound for a nice cover up. And that and big sunnies. That is so cute. I feel like that's a bit towy with like wedges and big sunnies and that. I love that. Oh, them sunglasses are a bit snazzy, yeah. aren't they? Oh. I like the bamboo handles on them. Yeah, I like it. Oh, and it's got a strap as well. I bet the signs like, please don't touch them. I'm like, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Oh, I can totally That's gorgeous. I don't like the material though. No. I thought it was going to be like cottony. If it was cotton, oh, like, an inner like a slip thing. under it. Yeah. It's really cute. What are the prices like today? £15 for a dress is not bad. No. I think I'd put it in my wardrobe and not get it out yeah. ever again. <laughs> is this a swimming costume or body? No, it's a swimming costume, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's lovely. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's really nice, that. I imagine with your little bumpy. I know, I was thinking that. Yeah, you'd suit that. Oh, and it's got a stretchy back as well. Shop vibes, aren't they? Yeah. 
I've actually got some like that or I would have got them. Oh, really? Here we're getting all cute. <laughs> Someday I should come with the paws, yeah. yeah it's true. <laughs> actually true. I like these long dustery coats, do you? Yeah. I feel like they're like sexy but pyjama y as well. I probably wear them in bed. Yeah. yeah I love a good bit of shoulder padding. Ten pound. This is where it's at. I want soft pajamas. <gasps> Look at these. That's gorgeous. Oh, I like that love heart one. I like mix and match in like white and blue. I think that's cute. That's a really nice little pajama set. That's fine. <gasps> Pink. Absolutely no order to this haul, is that? What are these for? <laughs> Dustin, maybe? Oh, is it Dustin? <laughs> Look at me, like, what, what is this for? <laughs> I know, like, what is going on? They're all nice. Oh, I love waffly ones like that. Mmm. They're nice for, like, keeping makeup in and that. Aren't they? If I went home with any more storage, Louis would be like, have you seen all the storage in this house? We don't need any more. It's be organised. Well, of course it is. <gasps> oh my god. I'll tell you what, I could actually do with something like this. But then I'm like, would I? But I always just leave my earrings hanging around. No, I think it's a good idea. Look, it could be a bum bag. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to say, that will not fit anyone's ways. I like that. It extends. <laughs> it extends. All this pastel range is so nice. Look at that. I even like these. Oh my god, they are cute. I could put you in them. I like them ones as well. <gasps> Oh look, Haley! I got that excited then. This is you. <laughs> Haley's in heaven. <laughs> scrunchy o'clock. It's scrunchy o'clock somewhere. I like these. In the basket they go. They're cute as well. Mmm. Oh, the green ones are cute as well. Four. I keep seeing everyone talking about these at the moment online. What do you think of them ugly or nice? Yeah, these are a bit of you heels. Oh, what are you thinking about it? I think you should. Suit it. Would it rub? <laughs> well, you can uh, wear them in. Look at me, you double on your shoulder. Get them. Get them. <laughs> An annoying thing in my ear. I love them. They're nice as well. I like that a lot. I love sage green at the moment. Anything sage. I think I'd actually size up again in that. Would you? Right. So say I was like an eight pre-pregnancy, but I'd like a ten. Would you go twelve now? Yeah, or do yeah, you think? Do you think that looks huge? We've got a belt with it or something, wouldn't you? I think a ten would be alright, you know. Yeah, yeah, go that when you serve around. Yeah, <laughs> we'll come back. <laughs> oh, well, I have to get this, so I? Yeah. <laughs> Cut them. <laughs> little sunglasses for a boy. Oh my god, they've got little jungle book stuff. Oh. Oh, here's baby boy. It's not as big as a baby girl bit though, is it? Oh, look, these are what I needed. 
So right, zero to three. I actually did need these things. I know that. Sleeves, short sleeve body suits. They're gorgeous. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. I love them. I love everything. Yeah. Boys of that tiny section and the girls have all of this. Well, we're back down. We were upstairs for like two minutes, weren't we? So, we're just gonna have to look at plants in Seville, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> all these plants over here. I like plants. Yeah, I can. Straw. Oh, look at this. That's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. I love that for somewhere, but I don't know where. Where could that go, Hales? Oh, a little lemon tree. a successful day that was honestly we're home now it's 10 past 4 so I was yawning my head off all the way home on that train like exhausted but I've done 5,000 steps on my app it says so Primark has done me in it's officially done me in but I've got so many cute things and I did buy a couple of bits from uh, TK Maxx as well so I'll get home and show you what we bought I'm so excited. So as you can see, this is still a room we've not decorated in the house, but I thought it's nice and bright in here so I can do the haul, sit on the comfy bed and show you everything I've got. I'm so excited. So obviously, I've got two big bags. Um, I must say, I was very excited about the baby boy clothing, or baby clothing in general, but very disappointed when we got there because I went up the stairs and was like, baby stuff, and then like this much of it was for girls like lords and then there was like this much for boys and it was just very like i don't know there wasn't a lot of variety but i still managed to get quite a few bits for baby boy and a, a few bits for me as well so let's get started and it's going to be in no order because i'm just pulling it out of the bag like randomly so let's go so first of all i got a hoodie for me and I got it in a medium, so it's a 12 to 14, because I wanted it to be really oversized. And it's just like beige, and look how oversized it's going to be, amazing. And it's got a hood, <laughs> hoodie, <laughs> oh, hence the name. But it feels really soft inside. You know that material? Can you tell where it's just like super duper soft? And it was literally £7, so easy, easy. £7 for a hoodie, it's just like no, you've, no contemplation is that the word not even contemplating whether i'm gonna get it it's coming home with me i got a pajama set and i'm in love obviously i had to go for powder blue because i'm feeling the boy vibes i'm just loving it so baby blue to match baby boy and it's like that waffle but like really soft waffle textured material i'll bring it closer again so you can see what i mean but it's like super super soft and it's Relax and unwind, a calming state of mind is what it says on the tag. And again, I got these in a small, which is a 10 to 12. I really did think of getting the medium, which is 12 to 14, to fit around the bump as it grows, because I've got quite a bump already and I'm just 17, well, 17 weeks on Tuesday. So I think, I think these will be all right enough though, because I'm normally an 8 to 10, so I think a 10 to 12 will do me, especially because of the stretchy waistband. So the trouser parts were nine pounds and it's just got like little cuffed bottoms and then the top looks like this so you could kind of wear it open like as a card yes i put oh no it's got like a little knot detail at the bottom and again you could layer up if you wanted like a, 
nice warm t-shirt underneath and this on top as well or if you just want to like chill vibes just like nice and loose this on top and this is a small again 10 to 12 and it's just got these little like lattice hem sleeves is it lattice like when it's all like that you know what i mean though and that was nine pounds i think wherever is the tag there yeah nine pounds so 18 pound for a really cute pajama set i mean i'm quite stingy and say i saw a pair of pajamas in tesco for 18 pound i'd be like no so to say i spent it on a pair in primark well you know you can't not get primark pajamas when you're in primark though can you like you've got to because that's the tradition you're tired when you come home from primark a day out shopping and that especially being pregnant so you want to like get home get your makeup off have a shower have a real nice pamper body cream and that get your new pajamas on it's just what you do it's just what you do first up i got my favorite ever thongs they're the invisible thongs size small 10 to 12 again going to be really comfortable so it's five pounds and you get three and they're just thongs literally but they're the, the vpl or oh, no vpl no visible panty line so i love it because i wear a lot of like maxi and midi skirts at the moment you know the ribbed ones that are like really tight um so i'm wearing a lot of them since being pregnant because it's just like they're so comfy but i don't want like a nickel line on shore so i just think these are really handy especially in nude because they go great under like white dresses and stuff as well so i was really happy with them next up i got a beautiful underwear set five pounds you know them ones that are just hanging there for a fiver and you're like all right then it's this because you can still get a bit sexy even if you're like you know not quite feeling yourself and that like my body's changing and i'm loving it more than ever i really am because i'm in awe of what the body can do but i thought i can't be wearing bridget jones knickers all the time which is what i tend to live in when i'm not in them uh nude thongs so i got these and they're just it's like a little bra set with a thong and they're just like spotty mesh like really see-through um but i like these and it was like I just grabbed them straight away when I saw them because I like um I like bras that aren't underwired or because I'm not like I've not got a massive chest anyway so most of the time I don't wear a bra but if I do just for a bit more like support or feel like I've got something on I do tend to go for the ones that are literally just really soft no underwire or anything and it's literally bralette and brief that's what they call it five pound five pound for that it's a gorgeous set I love it so I'm excited to give that a go give that a go put it on i don't know so next up are a few little accessories and i got a purse first of all because if you could see my purse right i used to be a ted pick a ted baker purse girl and you know what i mean like the big ones are they called the matinee purses where they've got like the big bobbles on top um i used to love that but since like I just love swapping bags, I love swapping bags, sometimes I have a big bag, like today if I'm going out to a city shopping, I'll use my big bag so I can get everything in, like drinks, phone charger, tissues, everything, but day to day I have little bags and one of my favourite bags is a little um, green Kate Spade bag, like gorgeous, I love it, but the Ted Baker purses would never fit in, so then I just got this little like coin purse, you know when you have when you're like 12 <laughs> and you have a little white purse that's just like that big and a little clippy thing on the top with little bees on it was never intended to be my forever purse but it seems like i've been using it for a good half a year now and it's getting a bit a bit battered and a bit um coming away at the seams so i thought i'll just get a primark one three pound a little like fake leather croc style uh texture to it and it's small enough that it's gonna fit in all my bags so i just thought it was great and unlike the one where it's just literally a coin purse and you just chuck everything in this actually does have spaces for your cards space for your cash and um a little coin bit at the back as well so that's super handy especially just for three pounds with the nice gold detailing on the front as well i also got three packs of bobbles the first one don't need to go into it one pound for 60 pack of these bobbles you can't go wrong and i always lose them i buy a 60 pack every time i go to primark and then they just disappear like i don't know what happens to them here's one for example right now on my wrist but yeah i noticed i was running low so i was like thank god we're going to primark for a 60 pack of one pound bobbles so that's good 
and I also got two packs of scrunchies. So they did have these like giant scrunchies that you probably saw when I was filming them, like really big ones that were so cool. But because I don't have like really long hair and it is thick, but it's not like super long, I decided to get just some little ones. So I got two packets and each, oh well, this was £1.50 for three and you get six on this one and it was two pounds. So I'll show you these ones first. Obviously there's like little florally ones, mustard and Dalmatian print. So I love them. And I just thought they'd be great for just tying your hair up or if you've got your hair down but you think it's gonna get in the way. They look quite cute on your wrist because it's a bit better than just a plain bobble. And then I also got these and these are just pastel and they're like that really soft texture again. I don't know if you can tell, but I just absolutely loved them and I loved the pastel colors as well. Next up, I have been loving hoops. Like, I don't know if you can see these. These were from New Look. Um, I'll try and do a close up. So they were from New Look and they were literally like 2 .99. I love, I love them so much. They're like chunky gold, but kind of like, ov and not oval. Like a squoval, a squoval shape, square slash oval, and I love them so much. And then I feel like gold chunky hoops are really in at the moment, so I just picked these up. Um, they were literally just one pound fifty, and I loved how chunky they were. And I just think they're always good to have in. Like you always need a pair of chunky gold hoops. So I've got quite a few baby bits to show you, so I'm really excited. The first thing I bought was five pairs of newborn socks and they were two pounds and you just get so many cute colours like you get the I'm trying to see lots of stripy pairs like the pale blue ones and then there's like a little stripy pair at the back and I can't stand the thought of his little feet getting cold and I just know that newborn socks are so handy so perfect thinking back I'm like essentials like this why didn't I just grab a few pairs but Five will do for now and I'll certainly, well, of course they'll do for now because he's still in the womb. But um, yeah, I'll be going to Primark uh, probably a lot before the baby's born. So I can grab loads more essential bits. Oh, well, we're on socks, trainer socks for me. Seven pairs, two pound, can't beat them. I always lose them. So again, I got some more essentials. So I just got zero to three months and I still feel a bit naive, I'm like, newborn zero to three what should I get and then I was trying to think zero to three will last longer but I don't know like don't hate on me this is my first time being a mum like I've never been pregnant before I never had a baby and I'm like surely zero is the same as newborn so I'm like might be a bit big but they'll grow into it but I know that I'll end up getting loads more newborns but I was just thinking ahead and I thought zero to three it'll be great to have loads of them in so I got three short sleeve bodysuits and I'm learning that it's nappy, then bodysuit, then outfit, and then blanket if it's cold and things like that. I'm getting there, you know, I'm getting there. And then I bought a three pack of, again, just plain white bodysuits. And these are the long sleeve ones, which will be great because obviously uh, Baby Boy is being born at the back end of October. So it's going to be pretty cold outside. So we're going to be needing the long sleeve bodysuits. And I just bought white because I thought, you know, they go with everything. And I know you don't really see them, but I thought if he's got like a little romper suit on and we're just in the house, he might just want to wear like a long sleeve bodysuit underneath it uh, when he doesn't need to be too hot in the house. So yeah, can't go wrong with white ones. And what? let's see, the long sleeve ones were three pound for a pack of three and the short sleeve ones for a pack of three were two pound 30. So Hayley, who I was there with today, one of my best friends in the world, uh, actually bought 
baby boy it's gonna be so hard not slipping up and saying his name i've nearly said it about 50 times in this video but um we are set on a name and it's so hard not to say it because me and larry when we're talking about him just say his name all the time so it's really weird to not be able to say it and just be like baby boy baby boy but it's so nice not saying it anymore because i hated saying it but obviously when you don't know what the baby is boy or girl you're like you're just like baby or oh it's gonna be so loved rather than now i can say he's gonna be so loved i can't wait to meet him but anyway we got these zero to one month so uh ten, up to 10 pounds i suppose um so it's seven short sleeve body suits and these were it doesn't even say actually how much these oh literally says right in the front seven pounds so literally works out one pound per um bodysuit and they're just so cute they've got all safari print on them again you just can't beat them i feel like these are things we're going to need to stock up on so much and you just can never have enough bodysuits i don't think oh i've just noticed that they've got two of the same one in and that's my favorite print one i absolutely love it should we get one out just to have a little look oh it's so tiny so tiny look isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Little giraffes and zebras all over it. I can't believe it. I can't I can't get my head around. It's gonna be this tiny. Like actually oh it makes me want to cry. Let's let's not let's not go there because I'm just gonna cry and be all emotional because I'm just so happy. Put it back. Can't wait to wash all this, you know, because you got to wash everything, haven't you, when you bite it before you put the baby in it, and I'm like I keep buying more and more stuff and it's more and more washing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to washing, I know that, don't worry. So next up I bought the cutest little outfit for him. And I bought this in six to nine months because obviously at the moment it's a lot of spring, summer things in the shops. And with baby being born in October, we're not gonna need spring, summer stuff. Um, Oh, I was trapped on my jacket. So I got it in six to nine months knowing that it'll be like spring, summer next year when he can wear it. And it's just this gorgeous set, nine pounds. And it's like these little chinos. And I thought they were shorts, but then I forgot. Like obviously they're gonna be full length on him. And so they're like brown little chino shorts. Uh, I said it again, brown little chino trousers, just with a little button. And I was worried at first that they wouldn't be comfy because I don't want anything that's gonna be like restrictive or like maybe make him chapped behind his knees or anything. Um, but this is like really, really luckily. And then it's just got this shirt with it that's got like giraffes, hippos, lions. Like the safari th theme seems quite popular in Primark at the moment. So I absolutely love that. And to go with this outfit, I bought these. These are also six to nine months and they're like little boat shoes. Look at this outfit. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how cute this is? And Louis absolutely approves. I sent him pictures and he was like, them shoes are so cool. He used to actually have a pair just like this himself. So I was like, Louis, you need to dig them out so you can match with our baby. <laughs> and these were £3.50 for these little boat shoes. So I bought another shirt for him and it's this little star print shirt. And it's just got stars all over it and it's cream with the little wooden buttons like just like really neutral tones i just love it so much and this shirt was four pounds fifty look how cute it would even go with the pants but the trousers are six to nine months so there's a little crossover where this is three to six months and they're six to nine but maybe we'll be able to match them up together because that is a really cute outfit as well i'm trying to buy things where it's like can go with things because I don't want to buy loads of random tops or loads of random trousers or anything like that where they're not going to all go, if you know what I mean. But that will change, I'm sure. <laughs> so two more things from Primark. Well, I'd actually say one and a half because one's exciting and one's just a standard Primark purchase. So it's these. Wipe off. Wipe off. Um, 1,000, 1,000, oh, 100. I swear to God, this baby brain. I don't know, as if there's a thousand in there. 100 oval cosmetic pads. I just love them because they're the big ones that load of micellar water on it, make up right off. Do you know what I mean? Love it. 90p. And obviously they were in the queue and you just grab things. You're just like, I need that, I need that, I need that. Just grabbing it all into the basket while you're waiting. They're very clever doing that. 
the last thing is this dress and I'm hoping it's nice weather tomorrow because I'm going out for lunch with the, uh, the girls from work and I really want to wear this but I've got so many white broadery anglais dresses but I just couldn't leave it I just love it so much I love the little frills on the arms it's a bit like this top actually if you can tell it's just got like the frill on the shoulder so it's like that and I think it's lined yeah good because otherwise it'd be super see-through but it's just got like the lining inside it so it's not going to be see-through and I, is it called like a baby doll where it's like right up like a smocky baby doll right up to the neck with the frilly sleeves and they're just three quarter and then they've got that nice little nice little frilly edge and this was £15 which I don't think is bad for a really nice dress like imagine what that would have cost in Topshop or Zara or something because like every summer Zara brings out the most beautiful broadery anglais white dresses and I was like Megs you don't need another one but Primark when it's £15 I could totally accept. So while we're here I might as well show you two things I bought from TK Maxx as well I know it's not related to Primark but I can't help but show you. So two little t-shirts and this one is six months and it was eight pound instead of well 9.99 but apparently the original price was supposed to be about 17 pounds and it's just this little levi's t-shirt like how cute would this be with those little brown pants and the little checked vans that we've got him because me and louis both have the checked slide on vans so obviously it was only right that baby boy had to have them as well so i just loved it and i could not leave it it was actually Haley that found this and i love long sleeves because there was the exact same top but the short sleeve version but i was like no long sleeves so i love that and i'm so excited with that i'm so happy and the other one was from well same from tk maxx but the united colors of benetton and this was $2.99 I couldn't leave it my granddad loves hedgehogs as well so I just it reminded me of him so I just had to get it and this is three months I believe three to six months and it's just like that cream color with the little spiky hedgehogs all over it I just love it so cute so yeah the boy buy-in has begun I'm loving it I'm so happy and I've had such a wonderful day. I was actually like really anxious about going this morning. So I'm glad that we made it and we had a great time. I'm just so happy. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And let me know what bargains you've been getting in Primark lately. I can't wait to hear. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon with a new vlog or a new sit down video. Whatever, whatever happens next. So yeah, bye.